I've had some requests for a 420 class, so that's what we'll do today. And I'm neither a critic nor an advocate for getting high before yoga classes. However, there are some benefits if you are someone who has a really distracted mind and kind of have a hard time dropping into the practice. Getting high might help you to connect, to connect to the breath, which we don't pay attention to often in our everyday lives, or to subtler parts of the body as we move, as we go deeper. And it's a pain reliever. So if there's chronic pain in your body, also being high practicing can help to relieve a little bit of that stretching and strengthening and putting stress on joints can also help that, but um, sometimes getting stoned also helps. So um, obviously this practice can be done high or not. And at the end, there is oftentimes that kind of yoga stoned. So after Shavasana, there's that feeling of lightness and of maybe a little bit of loopiness too. And so um, that is what we're going to be doing today. It'll be a breath focus practice and we're going to start seated. Come to a comfortable seat, whether that is cross-legged or kneeling. Move yourself gently to find a posture where you're not holding, where you're not gripping, where you're sitting comfortably without effort. And you close your eyes. Come into the space, come into your practice, and come into your body. Welcome in anything that is here, any tightness in your body, welcome it, any distracting thoughts, welcome them. Know that we are here to accept and to observe and to move. We will practice a breath called Samavritti, equal breath. Begin to count your breath, count the inhale, and count the exhale. We'll breathe in to the count of five, inhaling, filling yourself up from the bottom to the top, counting to five. And exhale counting to five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four. Continue. Even and smooth, the breath flowing in through the nostrils. Even and smooth, the breath flowing out through the nostrils. Count to five as you breathe in. And five as you breathe out. too fast, not too slow, not gulping the breath in, but gently inviting it in, relaxing your body to receive, and gently pushing the breath out. The breath begins 
and ends at the nostrils. Inhale to five, exhale to five. Think about your practice today as a moving meditation. You'll continue with this breath throughout the whole practice, inhaling to five and exhaling to five. More important than what we're practicing is how we're breathing. Inhale five and On your next inhale, lift your arms to the count of five. Exhale, slowly draw your hands to the center of your chest. Bring them down, lift your arms, two, three, four, five, palms connect. Exhale, draw your thumbs to the center of your brow, your throat center, your heart center. Inhale to five, lift your arms. Exhale, twist to the left. Bring your right hand to the left knee. Breathe all of the breath out. Inhale, breathe in for five. And exhale, five. Inhale to five. Breathe all the way out for five. Taking the breath out, twisting deeper. As you breathe in, Return to center, lift your arms up over your head to a five. Exhale, twist to the other side. Left hand to the right knee. Twisting, assisting the breath to exit the body. Inhale to five. Exhale, five. Inhale, five. Exhale, five. Squeeze the breath out, so you're empty of breath and return to center, floating to center with the inhale. Palms connect, exhale, bring your hands down. Tuck the toes under and sit back onto the heels. Open up the bottoms of the feet. Manually tuck your toes under, put a little pressure on the ankles. Bring your hands to your shoulders. Start to draw circles with your elbows, inhale to five, coming up, exhale to five, like you're massaging the insides of your shoulders with your breath. Go nice and slow, count your breath, inhale as you draw up, exhale as you draw down, switch directions, inhale up, exhale drawing back. Smile on the inside, exhale down. Start to move your elbows in opposite directions, one moving forward and one back. If you can't do this, it's okay. It takes a bit of coordination in the mind. Maybe you're stoned and it's harder or easier. Go the opposite way. Not rushing through the movements, but enjoy each movement. Reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down, release your feet. Oof. Tap your feet, release. Tuck your toes under, lift the knees up, and send your hips towards your heels, crouching back. Inhale deeply, and exhale, hop yourself forward. Come into a squat. Bring your hands to your heart center. Try to lift your chest and draw your tailbone down simultaneously. Inhale to five. Exhale to five. Inhale. Exhale. 
feel. Exhale, bring your hands down. Walk your feet parallel or all the way together. Hands on the shins. Press your hands and shins together. Flatten the back as you breathe in. Chin slightly in, take the calves. Exhale, breathe out, fold forward. Two more times, inhale to five. Elongating the spine, crown and tailbone, reaching away. Exhale, breathe all the way out, counting to five. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, place your hands down, step the left foot back, and lower the left knee down. Hands on your hips, come into low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head. Soften your shoulders as you exhale, soften the shoulders and the hips. Take your right hand to your right hip, and the left arm extends up and tips over towards the right. Without closing your chest, extend through the left side body. Right hand can stay on the hip or can come to the mat, but not leaning forward to get your hand onto the mat, even bringing it back in line with the hip or behind. Breathe in all the way up to the left fingertips. And exhale, soften. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, bring your hands inside the right leg, lift your left knee, and squeeze here. Squeeze your right shoulder and your right knee together. Breathe in to five, and out to five. Inhale, lift your right arm, and exhale, soften here, twisting, inhale. Exhale, bring your right hand down outside the right foot. Step the right foot back. Plank pose. Inhale from your heels to the crown. Back of the neck long. Exhale, draw in. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale to five. Exhale to five. Lower as you exhale. When you reach five, the chest and belly touch. Come into cobra pose, a low cobra. Draw your elbows back. Exhale, lower down. Lower your chest and your forehead. Flow with your breath. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Hands down, toes tucked under. Lift the knees, squeeze your thighs, draw your elbows in, inhale. Exhale, press to plank pose or hands and knees, and then lift your hips to downward facing dog. Take five breaths here, the organic movement. Bending one knee or both or shaking your head or breathing out the mouth. Invite yourself to close your eyes in any moment as we practice today. Any posture that feels familiar, close your eyes and go internal. Breathe in to five. And exhale, step your left foot forward and lower the right knee. Come to a low lunge. On that exhale, settle into the pose. On your breath in, reach your arms up over your head. Soften the shoulders again as you exhale. Left hand on the thigh or on the mat. Right arm extends up, going into the ribs. Create space as you breathe in. Breathe in between each rib. Head comfortable, maybe eyes closed. Exhale fully. Inhale, lift both arms up. Exhale, bring your hands inside the left leg, lift the right knee, squeeze the right thigh, and squeeze the left shoulder and the left uh, knee together. Not stopping your breath. Inhale, the count of five, lift your left arm, twisting, inhale.
as you exhale, left hand comes down. Keep exhaling, step back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale here. Inhale. And exhale, lower to the belly. Come into Sphinx Pose. Elbows underneath the shoulders or very slightly in front of them. Press down, press down through the tops of your feet, the hands, the forearms, the elbows. Draw your chest open. Inhale here. Exhale here. Right hand turns in. Bend the left knee, left hand to the left leg. Hold it here or start to turn your fingers down and your elbows up. Maybe close the eyes. Imagine reaching back through the right foot, through the left knee. Press into the right elbow and right forearm to lift your chest. Where is the breath? Connect. Exhale, release. Forearms, inhale. Exhale, left hand turns in, bend the right knee. Hold the foot, the arch of your foot. You can start to turn the fingers down and elbow up. Not leaning to the left, but bring yourself into center. Extend back like the right knee is reaching towards the back of your mat. Breathing into the belly and the ribs. Soften your face. Inhale to five. And exhale to five. Release. Inhale here. Exhale, lower to your belly. Hands under the shoulders. Forehead down. Tuck your toes under. Squeeze your thighs. Lift the knees. Elbows squeeze in. Breathe in again. Exhale, push up. Lift your hips. Up and back for downward facing dog. Spread your fingers. Feel like this is a moving meditation. What feels good to do here? Where does it feel appropriate to send the breath? Walk your feet one step in. Walk your hands closer together. Take your left hand to the right leg. Come into downward facing dog twist. Push into the right hand, send your hips up and back, twist the spine. Inhale, fold. Exhale, release. Left hand down, right hand to the left leg. Inhale to five. Exhale to five, release. Step or hop your way forward and come into a squat again. Hands to heart. Breathe in, come all the way to standing. Exhale, come back down. Right hand down, left arm extends, open your chest. Extend your fingers away from each other. From the heart center, out to the fingertips, breathe into the count of five, and exhale, bring your hands together at heart center. Change your sides, left fingertips reaching towards the mat, right fingertips reaching up, and from the heart center, breathe into the count of five, extend into the fingertips, exhale, bring your hands to heart, fold forward, lift your hips. Walk your feet parallel. Inhale, flatten your back. Put your shins and hands together. Hands down, step or hop back. Flow to downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward as you exhale. Hands to your hips. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale, come into a high lunge. Inhaling, arms all the way up, hold on to the left wrist and lean over to the right. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other like you're finding the midline through the inner thighs. Nice, come upright, lean forward, step off your back foot and bring the left foot in to tree pose. Squeeze towards the center line, your foot and your inner thigh. 
squeezing towards each other. Exhale. Inhale, turn your knee forward. And exhale, step it back. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, turn yourself into warrior two. Feel yourself dynamic in the pose, not holding it statically, but moving from the inside with the breath. Try to let yourself be strong but comfortable here. As you exhale, bring your hands down, step back to plank pose. Breathe in, exhale, lower to your belly. Inhale, cobra, heart open. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale fully. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Hands to your hips and breathe in. And then exhale out the mouth. Inhale, lift your chest and lift your arms. And exhale, settle into the pose. Take hold of your right wrist. Pull up and lean over to the side. Come to center. Lean forward. Come off your back foot and place your right foot anywhere along the inseam of the left leg. Hip opening. Spine long. Hands in any gesture. As you inhale, turn your knee forward. As you exhale, step it back into a high lunge. Inhale, lift your arms like you're floating through the transitions. Come into warrior two, back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Shoulders soft, gaze steady at the pointer finger or beyond. Have you stopped breathing or do you feel like you're clenching here? Try to relax into the pose and take a deep breath in. And exhale, bring your hands down. Make your way to downward facing dog by following the breath. Lift the right leg up, open the hip, bend the knee, press evenly into your hands. Lift the right knee a little higher. Breathe from your hands all the way up to the right knee. And exhale, bring your shin forward for pigeon. Look back. Look at the back leg. Make it straight out behind you. Turn forward. Come onto your elbows or extend your arms out in front of you. Take a nice deep breath in. Imagine that you're filling up the right hip with air. And exhale, sink here into the pose. Another breath in to five. And out to five. Walk your hands in and bring your right heel and your left knee closer together. Scoot in so that the body starts to lift up. Hand can be in front of you, right hand. Bend the left knee, hold onto the foot. So the arch of the foot, or again, you can turn the fingers down and elbow up. Come into any expression here. You can come into the thigh stretch with your hand down. You can come into mermaid, stretching deeply into the left thigh. Can reverse hold your foot in your hand, taking the bind with both hands. Take a breath in and exhale, slowly release. Step to downward facing dog with the right leg up and give it a shake. And breathe out the mouth. Lower the right foot down, switch your side, lift the left leg, and as you do so, Rotate the hips open to the left. Push 
into your hands. Lift the left knee, take a deep breath in. And exhale, bring the shin forward. The left foot behind the right wrist and the left knee behind the left wrist. Look back, step out the back leg, turn forward, smile, come onto your elbows. If you're injured in the knee and you feel this in the knee and not the hip, take a different variation or don't fold. Deep, deep breathing. Imagine that the inhale is creating space in the left hip. Inhale five and exhale five. Keep that rhythm of breathing, not going faster or slower than your own rhythm of five and five. Start to walk your hands back and bring your left heel and right knee closer so that the hips lift. Use your left hand as a kickstand and bend the right knee. Hold it towards you. Stretch the right thigh and take any other variations to go deeper. You can press against the left thigh. You can bring the right foot into the right elbow and reach back with the left hand. Find your balance here, not trying to Spread out into the pose, but find height. Go higher into the pose. Feel your breath moving inside the body. And as you exhale, release. Come into downward facing dog. Lift the left leg and shake it out. Step your right foot forward. Come upright into high lunge, hands to heart, twist to the right. Breathe in, feel your lungs inflate, and exhale, twist a little deeper, pressing your right leg and left arm together. Inhale, up to the bow. Look down, step your back foot forward, Squeeze your knees together, feet together. Take another breath in and exhale. Look down, inhale. And exhale, step the left foot back. Inhale, come into a high lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale, left foot step forward. Inhale, flow up. As you rise, be inhaling, exhale, be twisting. Feel yourself inflate as you breathe in and twist deeper, exhaling. Leg and arm press together for strength and stability. Look down, inhale. Exhale, right foot steps forward, draw the right hip back, twisted chair. Take another breath in and exhale, step the right foot back. Inhale, float yourself up, move meditatively. Exhale, hands down, step your right foot forward. Hands to your hips, come upright, reach your arms up, give yourself a gentle back bend and exhale, hands to heart. Inhale. Find stillness here. Lift your toes for a moment. Feel the energy moving up through the toes, through the arch of the foot, through the spine, through the crown of the head. Feel stable, a sinking down through the shoulders and the hips the heels, and the ball of the big toe and the pinky toe. As we work towards stillness, notice if there's an inclination in your body to lean forward or back or side to side.
as we pause in stillness, reconnect. Notice your beating heart and your breath. Standing still, but allowing yourself to be organic. The weight comes into the left foot, and the right knee bends. Take the outside or inside of your foot and to your heart. You can stay here or start to extend your arm straight forward or up about 45 degrees, coming into kingdom. Make the standing leg knee soft. If you push it back, you might notice less stability than if you bend it. Try to spread your left toes. See if these micro adjustments bring anything to your pose. Hand comes in, knee comes in, release. Switch your signs. Take your left foot with your left hand, right hand to your heart. Extend forward or start to reach up and kick your foot not only back but up as well. Soften right knee, soften right toes. Continue to breathe in five and out five. Hand comes in, knee comes in, release, shake down, and shake back up. Bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flatten your back. And exhale, make your way to downward facing dog. Step your Right foot outside the right hand, lower the left knee. Stay here for the next six breaths. Stay here or take hold of your back foot or come onto your elbows. Whatever is feeling glorious here. Listen to your body more importantly than listening to my direction. Make your way to downward facing dog, not by rushing, but by following the breath. Inhale five, exhale five. Inhale and downward facing dog. Exhale left foot, it's up outside the left hand, right knee comes down. Find your perfect pose. Honor the differences of your two sides. Honor the flexibility or structure of your body. And honor your breath. Release. Downward facing dog through a vinyasa or without. Come into our last downward facing dog. Come to heel. Lower the knees. Step, hop, float through. Bring your feet together. Butterfly, Baddha Konasana. Take hold of the pinky toe side of the feet. Sit up tall, draw your low ribs in without restricting your breath, lower the right ear towards the right shoulder, inhale to five, exhale five, inhale, 
You're going to look to the right and bow your chin towards your shoulders. Change the stretch a little bit. And take another inhale. Exhale. Look forward, bring your head to center, over to the other side. the stretch in the neck, maybe bring in the eyes, start to look to the left, bowing your chin in slightly, look to the left side, exhale, look forward, maybe bring the eyes, and bring the eyes to the hand to center, breathe in fully, and exhale, bow, and forward any amount. You can use your elbows to help open the hips, lock your hands in front of you, or you can stay seated upright as well. Breathing up and down the spine. Visualize the breath coming in, tailbone to crown, and moving out, crown to tailbone. Right, bring your knees together, extend the legs, come back. Come into bridge pose. Walk your feet in, keep the toes facing forward and the knees pointing up towards the ceiling. Take any bridge pose variation. Elbows can be bent and pushing the elbows down, or you can hold on to the edges of your mat or you can interlace your fingers underneath you, or, or wheel pose if you prefer that today. Open up the front of your body, and on the breath in, lift up, relax the belly. Exhale, stay here. And do that two more times. Inhale, relax, receive. And exhale, pause, come into center. One more breath in. Exhale, release, lower down. Take a moment here, seven, eight breaths, to do whatever you'd like to. You can come into happy baby, or candlestick, shoulder stand, or plow pose. Counter pose that feels good in your body. Holding behind the knees, elbow in the feet, in happy baby, or coming into the inversion, or the back stretch, halasana. going to release and roll up to seated. If you're in shoulder stand, roll through plow pose. If you're in plow pose, start to roll down and roll up to seated. However your legs land, switch the crossing. Come into a seated pose, sukhasana. And pause here. Feel this goodness that you've created. This sense of peace and ease. No matter what you were doing before this practice, giving thanks for this pause that you've taken. Notice the effortless breath. Soften the muscles in your face. 
smile a little bit. As you exhale, bring your hands to center. Your thumbs come to the sternum. Sealing in your practice by bowing to yourself. Honoring your body and your breath and your mind. And peace. Peace within you and peace around you. Namaste. Peace, love, and Bob Marley.